and he's going to come back tonight with another segment. Fox News should tell him not to. Fox News, Rupert Murdoch, tell Carlson not to run a second segment of lies. I urge Fox News to order Carlson to cease propagating the big lie on his network and to level with their viewers about the truth, the truth behind the efforts to mislead the public. Conduct like theirs is just asking for another January 6th to happen. It's a threat to democracy. Pull him off the air. A couple of obvious observations. You don't often see the Senate majority leader openly call for censorship on the floor of the Senate as if that was totally normal and didn't contradict the spirit and the letter of the First Amendment. But of course it does. But what's really happening here? What you're seeing is hysteria. The overstatement, the crazed hyperbole, the red in the face anger. What is that? Well, it's not outrage. Of course, it's fear. It's panic. Those videos, which we did not retouch, which we brought to you after running everyone by the Capitol Police to make certain that we didn't imperil anybody. We told you that last night. Those videos touch a nerve because they're a threat to the lies that Chuck Schumer has been telling for the last 26 months, and not just Chuck Schumer. We should also tell you that Chuck Schumer, the Senate Majority Leader, was joined in this outrage by the Senate Minority Leader, and that would be a Republican, Mitch McConnell. And they were joined by a cascade of other Republicans, Tom Tillis from North Carolina, Mitt Romney from Utah, all sharing the same outrage. And from this, we learn two things. One, you're getting close to what they really care about. And you have to ask yourself, why? Why is it so important? that they would degrade themselves by telling such obvious lies and calling for censorship. Why? What are they trying to protect? That might be worth exploring, and we plan to. And the second thing that we learned from this is that they're on the same side. The Senate Majority Leader joins the Senate Minority Leader. Tom Tillis, Mitt Romney. <laughs> they're all on the same side. So it's actually not about left and right. It's not about Republican and Democrat. Here you have people with shared interests, the open borders people, the people, <laughs> the people like Mitch McConnell who are living in splendor on Chinese money, the people who underneath it all have everything in common are all aligned against everyone else. And that would include almost all news organizations in this country as well. And so if you're watching this, it might be kind of interesting to keep a list because one thing we learned today is that they're all in agreement with each other. 